a tapestry and a citizen square, La Grande Place, Brussels. This is the Belgian capital, Brussels. While most towns and cities in Europe have a central square, the one here is considered exceptional. La Grande Place means the Great Square. Many of the buildings date to the late 17th century. The city hall, with its stunning Gothic architecture, dominates. Victor Hugo once described the Grand Place as the most beautiful square in the world. Jean Cocteau called it a luxurious theater. 70% of the buildings here are guild houses, meeting places for craftsmen and merchants of a particular craft. This windmill symbol represents the Miller's Guild. This symbol is for the Stonemason's Guild. All the guild houses in the Grand Place are rich in decoration. There's also artwork inside the city hall. A painting on the ceiling depicts the suffering of the people of Brussels. A devil-like figure at the top of the tower represents war and strife. Citizens are shown being tortured and starving to death. They're fighting to protect the city from foreign invasion. When peace came, the guilds played a major part in rebuilding. They had gained wealth and influence during the 15th and 16th centuries, notably with tapestry production. The textile industry was already a major business in the town, but craftsmen developed techniques to create tapestries of the highest quality. They became a status symbol popular with royal houses and aristocrats across Europe. The guilds protected and brought prosperity to Brussels. The Grand Place represented their wealth and power. The square is filled with flowers once every two years. It's transformed into a carpet of color a modern-day tapestry woven with fresh flowers. <laughs> 